Guys, welcome back. Um, as promised, today we're going to do a first product review. Um, this one is going to be on the Eheim Reflex 800 UV. You see, I've got two of these here. They're the 11 watt versions. Uh, it's the biggest version they do. Uh, I'm going to start by going over a few things on the box, a few of the specifications, and uh, and what it claims to do. Uh, we'll then unbox it, and then after that, I'll show you. I've been running one of these for about two months now. Uh, so I've tested it quite well. That's on the on the big 800 in the other room there. Uh, sorry, 900 in the other room there. Um, and I'm quite impressed. So let's go ahead. We'll go over a few things on the box first, and then we'll get it out and show you what it looks like. The box. Then we've got the basic specifications of the unit. Uh, this is the 11 watt version. Like I said, the 800. Uh, they also do a 350 and I think a 500 as well. Um, I think they are 5 watt and 7 watt versions. Um, obviously rated for different different uh, quantities of water. Now this this here, this 11 watt unit, claims to be able to uh, handle tanks from 400 to 800 litres. Um, now, it's probably a little bit uh, exaggerated. I personally, I bought two of these to deal with uh, my system that has 1200 litres of water in it. Um, 16 to 22 mil pipe work on the ends there. As you can see, they've got these, these the gyms, the usual e high connections that they have on there. Most of the e high pumps, filters, etc., etc., all have these types of connections on. Uh, so, nothing different there. Um, now, this is the interesting bit. Uh, as a clarifier, which to be honest, this would be a very expensive clarifier because they, these are um, some of the more expensive that are uh, available on the market. I think this, these here I think I paid £132 I think for um, from my local fish store. Um, you can get them a little bit cheaper online. I think I've seen them uh, at certain places online for £113. Um, but personally, I like to buy local. I like to get from the local stores, keep them in business because at the end of the day, if everyone buys everything online, your fish stores will close, which is, is no good to any of us as hobbyists. Um, so this here claims 1,200 litres an hour um, will kill algae in the water at work as a clarifier, essentially. Um, and then below here, as a steriliser, it's saying it will kill bacteria at, at a rate of 600 litres per hour. Um, now personally, I haven't done a lot of research into UVs. Um, this figure here, 1200, is probably fairly accurate. This as 600 litres an hour. Um, personally, I think I'd, I'd much rather prefer to run it probably around the three to 400 litres an hour uh, mark. It's, the slower you can pass the water through these filters, the more effective they'll be. Um, this comes with its UVC bulb inclusive, uh, which is good. It comes with a three year guarantee on the, um, on, on the UV itself, although I assume that probably doesn't cover the bulb as well because I would think the lifetime of the bulb is a lot shorter than three years. Um, suitable for fresh or marine. Um, quite nicely packaged. Um, it's got various instructions for different languages on the side there. Uh, the English is on the back somewhere, I think. Actually, here, this on the, on the back of the packaging here, you can see the, um, the little assembly diagram there. Um, and then on the back here, it shows you these these other models, like I was saying, there's the, the 350 and the 500. Um, that shows it's a certain 7 watt bulb for the smallest one, 9 watts and 11 watts, which is the model I've got here. Um, and that states your other, you can see there is a clarifier 400 and 200, um, 800 and 400, 1200, 600 different flow rates for different applications. Um, you can see on the top row there, it's your quantities that they're, they're designed for. So the 350 would be a uh, 800 to 350 which would be something like the goldfish tank here which is 125 litres that would suit this quite well I should think um, and your medium sized tanks any large tanks um, for anything larger than 800 odd litres you, you'd want multiples of these one or two of these maybe even three um, if that's the route you want to go down uh, I know a lot of people um, start looking into pond sterilizers and bits and pieces um, when they get to that quantity but so it's a fairly extensive instructions on the box. Um, I say multiple languages on the side here. Um, like everything, I'm personally I'm an Eheim fan. Um, I, I think they make good quality equipment. So uh, at first glance, the box is um, the the box does what it needs to do. It sells the product to you. 
Um, quite comprehensive instructions. You can see what it claims to do on there. Um, we're going to go and un unbox this one here because I've not unboxed this one yet. Um, so you'll be able to see what it comes packaged like straight out of the tub. Um, and then we'll go on to my experience and has it performed like it says on the box. Okay guys, so here it is out of the box. Uh, and this is everything that comes in the box. Um, I'll start over here. You get quite a uh, extensive set of instructions uh, that comes with it. A lot of this is the same as what's on the box um, anyway. Uh, there's a little couple of picture diagrams on the first two pages. One shows you the, the general assembly. Uh, the other page here shows you how to change the UVC bulb inside the unit, uh, which we'll go through in a minute. It's a really easy process, quite a cool design. Um, and the rest of it is just instructions. Uh, you get your, your Eheim 300, uh, three year uh, guarantee which you'll need to read through and I assume there's probably some sort of registration process that you have to go through to, to be able to claim your three year warranty. Um, I haven't actually read it so I don't know for sure but I, I guess it's probably just a normal guarantee kind of situation. Uh, it comes with a UVC bulb. Um, Eheim claim that these UVC bulbs are the the, the top of the range are the best you can get. They, they claim the, the, the utmost uh, frequencies and whatever else to to kill bacteria um, over that are meant to be better than uh, some of the other cheaper bulbs um, that you get from maybe some of the Chinese made ones, uh, for example, that don't um, don't quite perform as well as these, but that's what Eheim uh, e claim. They claim that this is uh, the, the best bulb and you should obviously always change for genuine parts when, once they go. Um, or they're, they're going to say that because they want to sell you more product. Um, okay, onto the unit itself then. First glance, it's, it's a very nice unit. Uh, it's a nice aluminium casing, so it's um, it's sturdy. Uh, it feels quite nice. It's, it's, it's got a fair weight to it um, for what it is. Um, it's got obviously a bit of Eheim branding on the back there. Data plate on the back to, uh, to show you what the unit actually is. Although, to be honest, if you've... Um, if you've bought the product, you would, you would know. Um, although interesting to note, to be honest, um, although the, uh, the lamp type there is only 11 watt lamp, um, this unit claims to, to consume 14 watts of power. You can see there, I'm not quite sure how they get to that. I would assume that probably that's the 11 watts of the bulb, plus the, uh, the loss that you'll get through the transformer there. Um, and talking of the transformer, I suppose, here's the, here's the lead, it's just a standard lead plug on the end there, um, a little adapter. I'm not a great fan of this, to be honest. I think they could have done, they, it would have been nice if they put a, a sort of a normal three pin plug on there for the, the UK market rather than just an adapter, um, but it is what it is. Um, it's a petty little thing really, doesn't affect the performance of the unit. Uh, anyone that's had done products before will know, will recognize these types of connectors. Um, these are a really easy thing to fit. They literally just push on there and you can uh, you can just twist these on. They've got little uh, little rubber O rings on the uh, on the end there that just push into the fitting, which are a uh, a, a good little um, good little design. To be honest, they literally push in there, and then you uh, just screw this back nut up tight to the uh, to the fitting. It's really easy. I mean, I'm holding the camera and uh, I'm just about managing to do these up one hand. So. If you've got two hands, um, now that I've said that, I can't actually get this one on. Um, but if you've got two hands, these are an easy thing to put on there. Um, and then you've got your usual connections for your 16 to 22 mil hose that goes on each end. Um, one of the downsides to this unit I think is uh, uh, not great is the fact that these come out at a 45 ang uh, degree angle. Um, personally, I mean, for my application, it would have suited me a lot better if they'd come out straight. Um, I'm not quite sure why they put them on as a, on a as a 45 degree, I suppose. Once it's mounted on a wall, it might make things a little bit easier, um, quite well wise if you're inside a, a tight cupboard or whatever. Um, but personally for me, these don't work great. They've, they've made it a little bit more difficult for the way I want to install them. But again, another petty thing. Overall, uh, it, it out of the box, it looks like a really good piece of equipment. Uh, it comes with a bracket here, a couple of screw holes in there. Obviously that fits on the wall and then your, uh, your unit will just clip into the bracket here, um, like that, quite simply. Um, it's a good, you've got some little uh, locating clips on each side here that will locate that in there properly to hold that on the wall. Um, comes with a little packet of screws here, as you can see, screwing it to your cabinet or the wall or wherever, wherever you're going to fix it. 
So that's it out of the box. Overall, I think it's a, a very good quality piece of kit. Um, they are, like I say, the more expensive end of the market. These these are, I've not found any of this size and wattage uh, for a more expensive price, really. Um, there are obviously more expensive ones on the market, um, bigger quantities of water applications, etc. But I've, um, in this ballpark for what Eheim are trying to do here with these two, this is, um, this is the most expensive on the market. Um, I think it's well worth the money. You get a nice, like say, a nice construction, nice equipment with it. Um, fairly comprehensive uh, package for for what you pay. Um, we'll go through into the other room. I'll show you the how the nine hundreds doing. Um, like I said, I've had one of these running on the 900 for about two months. Obviously, I've brought two of these um, to run on the 900, but I wanted to do this unboxing video, so I left one of them in the box, and I've only just got round to it now. Um, but even with one, I'm still fairly impressed with the results. We'll go through it, and I'll show you that. There you go, guys. So um, we've done the unboxing. I've gone over the product. Um, since I recorded that first half of the video, I've actually installed the second unit on the wall here. Um, so I've now got both of them in play. Um, the way I've set these up, um, as you'll see, they're, they're in uh, in series, uh, one to the other. Um, basically, at this end in my sump down here, I don't know how well you can you can see it because of the reflection, but I've got a tiny 600 litre per hour pump there, which pumps up um, into the first UV through the first, down through the second, um, and back up the bottom there. I've got them mounted both the, the same way up, um, but there is the, there is no directional requirement for these UVs. Uh, you can flow the water either which way they um, either which way you want to. Um, I've simply set them up like this purely because it means I can have the electrical connections at the bottom here, um, which just keeps things a bit neater. Um, but so this is how I've got them set up basically. Um, I'm running at 600 liters per hour, which is the top end of their their claimed. Um, claim sterilization flow basically um, but because I've run them in series it, it doubles the contact time from the UV to the bacteria um, so I, essentially although I'm flowing at 600 litres per hour I'm getting the same contact time as I would if I was only running it at 300 litres per hour um, as you can see once they're on the wall they're mounted on their clips that they came with um, they're so easy to fit um, they just look nice. Um, obviously, I've got them mounted on the wall there above my sump. They, they fit in there really nice. Um, and I'm really happy with the way they're set up. They're keeping the, well, this, this, this one that I've been running on its own uh, for the past month has kept, or two months, has kept the 950 litres in the tank plus the tank water. I think it was total, total was 1200 litres. Um, has kept it crystal clear. Um, I'm not running uh, a massive stock in this tank. Um, the lighting's actually gone off, so it'll be slightly difficult for you to see. Um, but I'm not running a massive stock in this tank, so I'm not changing a massive amount of water, uh, which was leaving me with uh, was leaving me with green water um, towards the end of end of the week, end of two weeks, etc. Um, because I wasn't changing a massive amount of water. Um, so these UVs have really helped me out in that X aspect. As for how they've helped me out regarding bacteria, um, obviously it's really hard to tell, um, but all the fish are very healthy. Um, obviously you can see I've got, a, you see from the top of the tank there, I've got a, some clowns in there somewhere, clown loaches, which obviously are very susceptible to itch. Um, these, um, let's see if we've put it around there, if I can try and spot them, there we are. Any otters come and say hi. Um, this, these sterilizers will, um, kill that bacteria in its in its dormant stage before it before it finds a host or before it gets buried in the in the substrate or wherever it's going to latch onto whilst it's floating in the water these uv sterilizers will kill that kind of bacteria things that cause uh funguses in your fish etc etc these these really when set up properly will kill that sort of bacteria um, so that's the setup that's my review um, Personally, I'll give them a 10 out of 10. I think they're really, really good. They may be a little bit on the pricey side, um, but I, I really like them. I, I'm happy with the money I've spent on them. Um, I hope this helps you out if you're looking into getting a sterilizer um, or, a, uh, or a clarifier. Um, my advice is do your research um, and, and 
really uh, really think about what you want. Do you want a clarifier? Do you want a steriliser? Think about how you're going to set it up. Um, do your research and uh, and pick something that suits you. But if you're if you're looking at the Eheim and you're wondering if it's worth the extra money, uh, certainly from my point of view, I would say it definitely is. So thanks for watching the review. Click the subscribe button if you like it. Obviously give us a like, give us a comment, let us know what you think. Any questions, just ask and I'll do my best to answer them. Cheers guys.